Yellowstone will have more big lava flows when the supervolcano erupts. This is what the USGS predicts. Sebastian Ketley, Express UK, today's article. Yellowstone supervolcano will certainly erupt again. And when it does, the USGS says it could be another cataclysmic super eruption. Dr. Lowenstern said of the next eruption at a 2014 lecture, there's an outside possibility that it will be one of those super eruptions, but that's by no means the most likely scenario. As I said before, he goes on to explain, it's perfectly possible there never will be another super eruption out of Yellowstone. We'll get one somewhere on Earth, but Yellowstone's already had three plenty big eruptions, and most of these volcanoes don't have four or five. They kind of use up all of the crust that's available to melt, and they lose their ability to keep creating really big eruptions, he says. So more likely is we'll have more of these big lava flows coming out, sort of using up what magma is down there, but nobody can tell you for sure. Yellowstone Volcano's three biggest eruptions, as we know, 640,000 years ago, 1.3 million, and 1.2 million years ago, plus a smaller one 70,000 years ago. Each of the uh, cataclysmic blasts transformed the surrounding landscape in what is modern day's Northwest America. We even had uh, yards and yards of uh, height of mountainous area of uh, gravel and dust, volcanic dust. Now since then, the USGS has found evidence of at least 80 non-explosive eruption events, 80 of them, 27 of which produced rhyolite lava flows in the Yellowstone caldera. Another 13 lava flows broke out beyond the volcano's caldera, and 40 produced what's called basalt veins, volcanic fissures oozing dark and scorched volcanic rock. And for Yellowstone to undergo another super eruption in the future, it would need to produce more than 240 cubic miles of material, and all of that molten rock then needs to concentrate into a point, a sponge-like magma chamber, and has to exceed 50% of all material in the chamber. And this, Lawrenson explains, all magma chamber imaging and predictions show there is only about 15% of melt in Yellowstone's chamber compared to solid rock and crystal. He said, so it's possible that there are some highly molten areas down there, but they're probably not very huge, so we don't think there's a big enough area with highly melted regions that could create one of these big eruptions, but there could be smaller ones. There are probably areas down there that could erupt if the right circumstances forced it. Now, when Yellowstone does erupt again in the future, the USGS expects the blast to be hydrothermal and not explosive, another explosive one. Well, okay, but uh, recently they've also said that there is a hot spot underneath Yellowstone. So that may change things because uh, Lowenstern made this state, these statements five years ago, and since then they found that Yellowstone has a hot spot underneath. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation 
with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.